We're going to add the Victor SPX and the Talon SRX to our project. We'll be using the CAN bus for both devices. I have placed on the Cal Robotics website on the Learn Embedded C webpage three links to documentations. Probably the most important for you will be the examples and the user guide. To get started, we open our project, but first we're going to then go to Manage Vendor Libraries. We're going to install a new library, the CTRAE Phoenix. You should have already downloaded and installed this on your computer. We're going to add it to this project. After we do this, it's going to build the project. After the build completes, let's open the CPP file and H file. We're going to go to the top right here. CTRE Phoenix. That takes care of that. We're going to go down here to our devices, to our objects, create a new section for CAN. So we have our PWM devices here. We're going to put in our CAN devices right below it. We're going to take one of our Victor SPXs and let's say we're going to use it for an intake device and we will put it on ID 0. This is ID 0 of the Victor SPX group. Then we're going to add a Talon Talon SRX. We'll use this for an elevator And this will be ID 0 for the Talon group. You can have no two devices of any of the Victors have the same ID. You can have no two devices of any of the Talon SRXs have the same ID. So it turns out that this device 0 and this device 0 is actually two different device groups. Let's go make some more variables. We already have four made right here for our Xbox controller. We'll make a couple more. I'm just gonna put this on the left and right triggers. Now we're going to the robot.cpp file. Let's go to where we have the getters. So we'll get under the getters for the Xbox controller. We'll get uh, a value for our left trigger. And the way we're going to do this is read the Xbox controller. Get, we're going to get a raw axis of two, which is the left trigger button. Get raw axis of three. So we have that. So we've done our getters. Now let's go set something. Let's set the motor for the Victor and the one for the Talon. Set, set what? See all this stuff up here? We're going to go CTRE colon 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 Phoenix. We're control control mode and we're going to use percent output Percent output has to be a value between minus 1.0 and plus 1.0. And we're going to use the left trigger value, which also comes from the Xbox automatically as minus 1 to plus 1. We're going to set the elevator set. That takes care of that. So we have the set. Here is the get, and it's on raw axis two and three. Where did that come from? That was in our class reference for the Xbox controller and, and, and Xbox controller mapping. We're going to tell this thing to build, and while it's building, I want to go to the driver station and go to here and grab the controller. Here's the Y axis on my right thumb, the left axis, 
Here is the right trigger on the Xbox. Here is the left trigger. So you can see axis number two is left trigger. Axis number three is right trigger. So we can also see those values on the driver station. We'll go back to our project and deploy it. The deploy is complete. You can see the program starting up over here, but you also see the Phoenix library code starting up. We're going to come over here to the left and go to teleop mode, enable the device. As I pull the right trigger, I can see the green lights flashing on the controller and I have a small, small motor connected and it's running. I'll pull the left trigger and I can see the green lights uh, lighting up on that one. The right and left triggers only go, the left one goes zero to minus one, the right one goes zero to plus one. We can't go in the opposite directions, but this proves that we're reading the triggers and operating the Victor and Talon. And that's how you do a simple CAN bus controller.